Hello, in this video let's get acquainted with the Ever Hour and take a tour around all pages that you see on the left side of your account. But let's start this tour from the Apps page that you can find in the Settings tab. This Apps page lets you to decide what features of Ever Hour you would like and would like not to use. You can turn them off and on. Don't worry if you turn off something. It doesn't mean data is deleted. Just hide it from your interface. And you can see that some of apps have their settings. For example, you can choose the default date and time grouping format of your invoices. Create time of categories right here. Now let's move to home. This is the page where you can understand the team-wide metrics and it consists of different widgets you can find. The most important are located at the top. These are team activity where you see the running timers of your team. This is why it's very important to invite as many people as possible at the beginning to test every hour together as a team and see its benefit for the team as a whole. Below the timers page you can see the team timesheet widget and it shows hours reported daily last and this week. When you click on a cell you can update time or move it to another date and task and new hours and cells that have something strange or that are above the daily norm will be highlighted with the orange color. Then you have the rest of widgets like team locations and time off, projects and members of most of the time and team expenses. Now let's head to time page. This is the page where you can track your hours and see your personal time tracking history. We have a dedicated video about this so I can only add now that list and timesheet group your time entries in different formats and if you activate time card you can see the lengths of your work. These are your working hours when you clock in and clock out so you don't have to track time in a specific task you can just clock in and say that you're working and we also additionally show you the size of breaks and total working hours during the day and screenshots can also be additionally activated so you can see um, where people are at the moment when they're tracking time what pages they visited now let's go to timeline it shows all tasks with due dates and additionally if you assign a task uh, to somebody and then um, set the task estimate you can see these assignments and understand how much was uh, tracked from what you plan to spend on a task. You can group these assignments by member or by project. Um, then goes the projects page where you can see the list of all projects from your external systems and you can bookmark some of them, apply different grouping and filtering options, set project budget and billing type and go into project details to see more information about how time was spent. Then we can visit the clients page. Client can be created on top of your projects and you can unite different billable projects under one client to later issue invoices for these clients or use clients in reports to understand how much time was spent across all projects that belong to one client. Um, if you have some uninvoiced time, we'll visualize how much is uninvoiced in this column. Now let's go to team page. So it consists of different tabs that you see here and some of widgets are visible on the home page. 
you can see now the running timers of your team and where people track time before during the day when they're not active. Timesheet shows the team timesheet and tasks where people have been working during the week, not just your personal timesheets. The same for time cards. This is not just your personal time card, but also the time card of your colleagues that you can find here. On time off, you can create a time off event which will appear on timeline and uh, on um, one of home widgets. So you can book when people are absent for different reasons. And members page allows you to invite members to your team and then set uh, their default parameters like rates, costs, capacity limits, as well as uh, unite different members under certain team groups, which you can later use as filters on different dashboards that you find in Ever Hour and on our reports. So now let's go to the reports page and here you can find different already created reports that are called dashboards or create your custom report which consists of different columns. You can see them on the right side and pick any column that you see here. Some of columns additionally contain attributes that you can enable and then um, see on your report and the column itself by the way can be renamed so you can use your custom wording for columns. There are three types of layout available for the report and by the way before you save it you can see the draft structure beneath. And also you have different filters available on the left side. Period is a separate filter. We can choose date range and then you can, for example, filter by project or by member, as well as see different other filters available. When you save a report, there is an option in its menu to download it in any of these three formats or send to somebody else by email as well as even choose the day and time when this report should be sent automatically to another person. Now let's go to invoices. This is a page where you can create an invoice for a client and send it or you can use our invoices to mark your time as invoiced and thus indicate that um, you got the payment for your invoices. Um, that's a very handy way instead of going and marking each time entry you have as built, you can just put it on the invoice, choose the period and then mark it as invoiced. Invoices have their default settings and also you can create different templates. Inside that template you can enter your custom titles for the invoice and apply settings to display columns. So you can use different templates for various clients and this is extremely handy when you have a client um, in another language so you can um, create a template in their language and use it for that particular client. When you create an invoice you choose your template, select a client, automatically include all uninvoiced time or choose its period and you can use one of these merge tags to group time under certain parameters, for example, to show time spent by member on different tasks. And when the invoice is saved, you can export it to other systems if it's made for the external client, or you can um, send it directly by email if this is an invoice for internal client. Um, when we talk about internal invoices, you can then manually add payments as well as just download this invoice as a PDF file and use it locally elsewhere. 
Additionally, you can create expanses on this expanses page. We first need to create different categories. And then when you add an expanse, you choose one of its category, put, uh, put its amount, assign it to an existing project. You can associate it with a member. And if you reflect your expanse and billable amount, it will appear on the invoice that you create for a client, um, as well as it consumes the budget progress together with time spent. That's all I wanted to share with you today. If you still have any questions, feel free to contact us at ask at